Okay. In no way, shape, or form. Let me make sure of this camera angle. Let me just go a little bit more. There we go. So, <clears throat> in no way, shape, or form would I want to do this again, but you just never know what's going to hit the public's pulse. So, we're discussing today totally random, off-topic crap, and Star Wars comes up. And I have yet to see... Uh, I saw highlights of the Ahsoka Tanu, I believe the character that Rosario Dawson played uh, on The Mandalorian. That's all I've seen from The Mandalorian. I haven't seen uh, the spinoff of Obi-Wan. I've watched uh, Rogue One maybe twice. Uh, of course, uh, the ending of that is memorable. And of course, I've watched the movies in the orders that they were always released. Four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. And I would consider myself, you know, I, I don't, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm not one of those fans that are, you know, have my, you know, place just... At one point I was going to get, uh, it was a choice between either a T2, which is from Terminator, a uh, life-size uh, T2, or a life-size Darth Vader. I it was such a tough choice, but I won't. I went with the T two, um, because it was shortly after uh, Terminator two. It came out, and uh, I had just gotten the money from my law settlement, so I had that bad boy. <clears throat> it's in storage somewhere. I need to bust that thing out. That thing is cool, but I I, I really do like Star Wars. I I understood the gripe that people have with it because I know hardcore fans have also read the books, have also, you know, followed the cartoons. I believe the Rosario Dawson character, you know, she was introduced or invented, you know, for the cartoons. Um, and to make it onto the big screen, I think that was her first appearance. Uh, neither here nor there. But here's my two main gripes, and I, I told this with a hardcore Star Wars fan. I said, okay, here are, the, here are a couple things that I just do not understand. The first one being, how the hell is there any Jedi when every single one of them we seem to encounter turn to the dark side? I mean, sure, you got Obi-Wan, and I believe Samuel Jackson's ass would have ended up being bad, give him a little bit more time. I mean, he was already on that edge. <laughs> um, no, but all their pad ones always seem to turn to the dark side. And, like, this is something that they couldn't have taken care of and to begin with. I mean, after Yoda loses, you know, Dooku, who's his pad one, you don't think that, you know, this smart 9,000-year-old, you know, all-knowing, you know, alien would have been like, you know what? I, I foresee a problem, a problem I foresee, and then fix it, right? That's what I thought, but no, no, nope, never gets touched. Second gripe that I had, and I think J.J. Abrams had that gripe too, is he, since he didn't even put his name at the end of Star Wars uh, Rise of Skywalker, um, why the fuck did they pull out Force Healing? That was just the dumbest shit to me because then that would null and void every single one of Anakin's fears, at least temporarily because, well, no, not even then because then his ass is going to grow old with Padme and they're probably going to die of natural causes. And he, let's just, let's just say for, you know, argument's sake that he becomes um, you know, a full-fledged Jedi Master, you know, if the, if the cards fell right for him and, you know, 
he knew how to force heal if Padme was going to die or something like that. So, you know, his his discussion with Yoda and saying how he has these reoccurring dreams and Yoda kind of already knows, like, you know, about someone close to you. You know, attachment leads to love and love leads to, you know, I verbatim, I don't know what he says, but basically saying, you know, attachment and love are, like, basically forbidden. Okay. Turns into Darth Vader after he plays a role in his wife's death. Order, was it Order 66? I think it's Order 66. I think that that's what the order was. What, what's his name? General or Palpatine. And, you know, they start mowing down the Jedi. Here was... Well, let me finish that other thought first. Was that it, will, it would have completely null and voided the whole story of Star Wars because he could have, one, saved Padme. Two, there would have never been uh, Emperor Palpatine with this almighty Vader. And let's just stick to canon here. Um, and maybe by this point, Yoda would have taken care of the problem of all their Jedi turning into, you know little shitheads that end up evil that yeah but the worst one i have the and i know it's just some movie but people love to discuss shit like this and people love to debate this or that and then people love to rip it apart like i personally like the what what was it this i'll tell you which one it is because even though i had gripes with it i still bought it so i guess that's really all that matters to disney but which is the one that i i like and it got so much shit from people um the last jedi i thought that was actually really good but a lot of people hated it um i wish they would have went with i got a bad feeling about this one and i know that's supposedly what uh r2d2 says in the back when he confronts the the huge warship uh, but I just, I just think it was way underrated my opinion. But again, I'm not a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan, but on to the finale and to the big point. So love leads to attachment. Attachment leads to, you know, the dark side, this and that. Why is it then the moment order 66 comes Yoda does and drops his cane. Is it? Well, I know what it is. It's his attachment to all the other Jedis. So he cares just as much as Anakin did for Padme. But he's basically saying, do as I say, not as I do. And then he proceeds to do a badass backflip and cut off the heads of two freaking uh, stormtroopers, which was awesome. I know it's just a movie. Trust me, I know. And I know there's always going to be plot holes. Spoiler alerts for people who haven't seen it. But you could have completely just done away with the stupid force healing when there they are like, No love, you have the force healing. No, let me kiss you. You now have the force healing. No, I want to give it back to you, baby. Here's the force healing. Well, here it is. I wish we could share it, but this is the last I could give you. Now I'm dead. Really? Really? Anakin just couldn't force heal his freaking, you know, mom. When he goes back as a teenager and kills all the storm... What are they called? Desert people? I don't even know. I can't even remember what they were called. Like I said, I'm just a fan, but I, I don't know every creature's name. I don't know, you know, I barely found out that there was freaking a black blade. I don't even know. Black saber? Black blade? I don't know what the hell it's called. Um, I know about Goku from uh, the Rosario Dawson highlights because everybody had made a big deal about that. And then during the pandemic... When my ass is stuck inside and just going through every YouTube <laughs> channel there is in existence, you know, seeing that clip over and over again. And she named, you know, that's his name, the baby's name. 
Um, that's my gripe. Because obviously, if you don't really have attachment or love for somebody and you heard, say, say you know five people, ten people, they're in a bus, going somewhere. You know these people, you're around them all the time, but you have absolutely no love for them. You don't have uh, any attachment to them. And I know this is hard for anybody to be put in this position unless you're a serial killer out there. But if all of a sudden, God forbid, they were killed by, you know, trying to cross a train track and trying to beat a train and, you know, boom, a train plows into them, they all die. Are you going to be sitting there grabbing your chest like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. But it would be totally, in my mind, right now, if 10 strangers... We're in a car accident because of a train hitting them. I'd be like, man, that's terrible. Okay, you know, I'm moving on. I'm not going to grab my chest like I'm about to have a heart attack and then breathe and then be all dizzy trying to get my bearings straight. He is basically a walking hypocrite, damn it. And I love Yoda. I mean, what the hell? I barely started paying attention to this the other day. I didn't even watch Star Wars. I was just thinking about, like, random thoughts. I'm like, hmm. That's an interesting thought. So, I know I normally don't talk about this stuff. And I know my audience, you guys, I love you guys, each and every one of you that subscribe and unsubscribe and then subscribe again, are very uh, finicky about what I put up. Uh, I usually get the most views when I uh, put up one particular artist, which I'm going to today um, because nobody wanted to watch anything else. <laughs> That's okay, though. I, I still admire the fact that I even have one subscriber, let alone how many I have. But I just think that was total bullshit, in my opinion. But anyways, y'all let me know what you think, because I really want to know. Was Yoda being a hypocrite? And why the hell did Force Healing ever make its way onto the goddamn big screen? Because that just completely null and voids all of Star Wars. So... I haven't gotten any comments lately, but I'm telling you, if any one of the videos that I make, and I get 500 comments by multiple people, well, of course, by 500 people, the 500th comment will get a Logitech 1080 Pro webcam, brand new, still sealed, in the box, whether it be on here, this particular story, or on any other of my videos, the 500th person to say something will win that webcam. So, thank you guys. I should have made this on the 4th. So, may the 4th... Oh, yeah. May the 4th be with you. Even though I don't like you and have no attachment to you, and I shouldn't, you know, kill over like I'm about to have a heart attack because... You know, order 66 but that's neither here nor there no that's the main topic of this <laughs> so anyways hope you guys are doing great hope you guys had a wonderful day and i am outie until i start making some music songs so peace <laughs>